What's up creators? So in today's video we're going to be setting up the github repository for our project. So I know I've been making a lot of videos prepping up the actual code but the code will actually start with in the next episode. But I think it's important to make sure you're organized and know exactly what you're getting yourself into before you start any project. That's why there's been so many. Version control and workflow is an important part of staying organized. That's why I thought this would need its own video. So let's get into it. It shouldn't take that long to set it up, but let's go. So we're going to need a repository name. It's pretty simple. Let's just call it book club. Description. We can say the description is having a good time with your fellow intellectuals. Initialize with readme. Let's do it and we can edit it later at some point. Add getting nor. We'll add none for now, but we will create our own in a bit. Is there a Firebase one? No, but we're going to have to add a get ignore for Firebase. And there we go. We have our repository created. So first thing I always do whenever I create a repository is if, especially if you're working with multiple people, is you want to create some rules. Uh, in your branches. So you can add a rule and for the master branch I want to never merge into master branch without a pull request. And I, but I think since we only have one person working on it, me, we don't need this but if you have even more than even one other person working on an app with you I think this is very important just so you can all look at what's going on before you push it into your master branch. We can uncheck that and forget about it for our, our case. Next thing we want, we're going to set up a project. So our first project is going to be core application. Basic working application. And the template we, we use is the automated Kanban is my favorite. So this just creates a project with with two with three cards with three um, sections. One's to do in progress and done. For something simple like this, that's all you really need. But usually, if I have other people working on stuff, I'd make sure to add some sections for each person so you can see wh who's working on what. And then I would also add an in review section here so you know wh what code is in review and all of what's going on within your project. So that, I don't think we need anything more complex than this for our simple project since I'm the only one working on it. But let's add some issues just to keep it, just to keep uh, everything organized, like I said. So, new issue. We're going to want to set up login and sign up and sign up UI and assign it to yourself labels these are the labels we get automatically you can edit them how you want but let's just label it enhancement and projects the core application and we can submit that issue if you're working with a team, you definitely want to provide a description to give them a better understanding of what they're doing. But it's just me. It's pretty straightforward. We want to set up a login and sign up UI. That's our first issue. Let's add a couple more. Enable login with email and password. Self enhancement core application and let's just add one more enable Google login I realize that's something I would I think I want to do so another thing I wanted to add I don't know if you guys remember from the first book club video is that 
there might might be some documentation that I want to do. So let's uh, the documentation. I usually have to put it in a wiki, just because you can add pages and everything. So we got the home, and then let's create a login login slash sign up page. And here you can describe how it works. Let's say for now we will use email slash password and Google login. So simple for now, but let's say we want to explain more how this is working for whether we need to access it in the future or some other people need to read it and understand, this is where we would put it. So then next I want to give you guys an idea of what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna be working on this. So at the top, we'll have our master branch. And let's say it goes like that. Then we define one project. So master branch will branch off into our core application was what the project was called. This is our core app. We'll branch off of this for each task. So let's say a login UI. We'll do our work once everything's done. We'll branch it in here. And let's say we have our other tasks like email sign up. And we'll branch it back in here. And then once the whole core app is done, all the tasks are in, we'll branch it into the master. And the master is going to define what is currently launched on the app store or whatever. And that's that's how I like to do things. Let me know if you guys have a better way to manage your versions. So one of the last things you need to do is to link your GitHub to a specific folder on your desktop. Let's add a repository. We can clone it. And here's a book club repository. So you can clone that. Once we have it cloned, we can we can open it in Explorer. And this is this is where our files are at. So we have our README and that's that's it so far. I already created a project for the Flutter app. So here we have the book club project I created. And this is our GitHub repository, so you just drag it in, and now you have a book club project in your GitHub. Also, two more things I want to add is the design documents for it with the XD. And we just have it called design. And here we have the book club design document. And then we want to add another folder for our flowcharts. And there, that should be all organized. So one of the last things we want to add is we want to add this file to our git ignore, just so we don't upload our Google services for everybody to see. And that's pretty much all you need to set up a, a project. So here we can say initial project commit and we can commit straight to master, even though I said that's not really what we want to do. And then we should see all our files show up here. And then hopefully one more will show up for the flowcharts, maybe because there's nothing in there yet, but. All right, and then we can create our new branch. We'll call it, I like to call it integration branch and we'll call it um, where integration build build zero underscore one and we can create that branch and this is the one we are we are going to work off of then once our whole core app is done, we'll merge the integration branch into master and we can push the changes out to all the people. 
So there, that's pretty much it about setting up your GitHub project. If you have any questions or anything, make sure to leave in the comments. In the next video, we're going to start on the actual code, so make sure to subscribe for that. And if you liked the video, make sure to like and share, and thank you for watching.